And now it's time to read some of the letters our audience writes to Jack Worthing. That's me, Uncle Jack. <laughs> First we have Mrs. H.K. Chesterfield of Perluins Drive, Maidenholm. And she writes, Sometimes, when I look out of my window at the garden district at night, I think I see fires. I assumed it was the bobbies keeping themselves warm, but once I saw a whole lot of fires out in Wednesday's Hill. They're not having some sort of police convention, are they? And I swear I could hear chanting. <laughs> well, Mrs. Chesterfield, I shouldn't worry. Sometimes, you know, the moon reflects in the windows, and then if there's a wind knocking against that window, it can create a sort of flicker effect. Now, my guess is that your curtain rod has fallen down. If you just fix up your curtain rod and draw the blinds close at night, you will find you're no longer worrying about fires in the garden district. Instead, you'll think about how cosy we all are in our houses at night. <laughs> and now... Ah, yes, let's go to this chap. Mr. Nigel Hickenbotham of S uh, Bellets Road, St. George. And he writes... How long can this go on? Well, that's odd, isn't it? That's all he wrote. Um, there's another side. It continues, How long has this been going on? Well, um, that's a rather strange one, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know, I think this must be some sort of riddle. Yes, and if it is a riddle and... One of you clever clogs have a clever answer. Please drop a note to Jack Worthing. That's me at the broadcast tower, and, um, well, I'll be sure to let everyone else know it. I almost forgot. <laughs> it's time for the secret word of the day. I'm going to say a word, and ladies, if you can get a bobby to say that word, you're allowed to kiss them. But you're not allowed to say that word to them, because that would be cheating. All right? The secret word of the day is epistemology. Now, it will help you to know that epistemology is the study of how we know things. All right? Well, good luck, ladies. And remember, no telling them the word first. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in later for more Uncle Jack. <laughs>